hello lovelies welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you are my old returning subscriber you are highly welcome thank you so much for coming so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how i usually bait my newborn yeah so if you are wondering why i use the piece of cloth to put in his bath that is because i'm going to put him without clothes so i don't want it to be so cold for him and also just to give him a little balance please stay tuned and watch to the end all right all right all right okay 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 welcome back guys so this is me just calming him down so that he doesn't shiver because he likes shivering a lot always shaking in fear so i try to calm him a little bit as i placed him in his bath so i don't like pouring water on him directly you know just pouring a large quantity of water directly i try by putting a little drops of water on him gradually and then you know start by massaging him in order for him not to shiver in fear or you know in, in order for him not to be afraid so this is me running water on his navel this helps their abdominal colic a lot it helps to relieve them and anytime i finish beating him like this massaging him and running water on his navel like this he sleeps so well so i always like doing this because it relieves him a lot yeah because this abdominal colic disturbs him a whole lot the thing disturbs him so much because he always cry you know because of it but once i finish beating him like this massaging him and doing this guys he sleeps so well and moreover back in nigeria this is what i watch my mom do over the years you know because my mom is a nurse and also a midwife and she has a little maternity where she helps people to give birth to their babies so the few days they spend in the maternity after giving birth my mom usually bathes their babies you know so this is what i watch her always do <laughs> you know so i'm just practicing what i've learned over the years you know <laughs> guys one thing about motherhood is nobody teaches you how to be a mother once you are a mom once you just bring forth a child you see yourself doing everything you know you just see yourself carrying out the responsibility of being a mother without anybody teaching you <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, as in, I marvel at myself at some certain things I do. I'm like, how did I learn this? <laughs> so I can actually do this, you know? Yeah. And one thing about it, nobody helps you. You have to do everything by yourself. Unlike back in Nigeria, where you always have your mom around for mugo. Even if you don't have your mom, you always see people that will come to help you. Neighbors, friends, well-wishers. You will see them coming around to just bait your baby, you know, and basically do other chores like cooking for you or washing your baby's clothes and all that. But here in Daspara, you are on your own. You have to basically do everything by yourself. So I massaged his back and also massaged his elbow by pulling his hand slightly backwards. Yeah. 
this is what I learned over the years, as I said earlier. Everything you watch me do is what I learned over the years, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I believe every Nigerian mom does this as well. <laughs> Why baiting newborns? Yeah. So, guys, it is not really easy to be a mom. The responsibility can be very overwhelming and hectic at the same time. But it's rewarding. As we always say, it's joys of motherhood. <laughs> what can we do? This is what we are called to do. So we have to deliver. <laughs> So this is time for me to, you know, wash his hair, you know. Guys, because of his acne, his doctor said I should not be using soap to bait him. But guys, uh, I can't do that. My mind will not allow me to do that. So what I do is I try to take um, the soap and... A very small quantity if you notice instead of me to just you know take a a big um, amount of soap and just rub on his body I try to um, reduce the quantity of soap I take as I'm beating him as you can see it's not really forming you know <laughs> the way it's supposed to be yeah because I'm just trying to you know adhere to doctor's instruction in my own way <laughs> yeah so this is me trying to clean his face as you all know um it's not good to pour water on newborn face because it makes them to shiver in fear yeah which can lead to shock so you wash their face gently uh, you clean their face gently and while washing their hair you make sure the water doesn't pour on them yeah so this is me just trying to you know massage his nose because the doctor said it helps their tear dots to develop yeah when i had my first son he had this problem where whenever he cries tears will just be flowing you know with this thing that usually come out from someone's eyes once you wake up the thing will just be coming out from his eyes and will just cover his eyes i thought it was apollo initially if in nigeria you know what is apollo but when we went to his doctor, his doctor said it's his tear dot, that it hasn't developed, that I should be massaging his nose upwards. Back in Nigeria, I used to see my mom do this, but I thought it's for the baby to have <laughs> a pointed nose. I never knew it for their tear dots to develop. You see, we learn every day. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this with this, my second son, for him not to have the same problem. She also said I shouldn't be beating my baby every day. <laughs> but guys, it's very difficult for me. <laughs> I beat him every day. But when the weather is cold, I don't beat him. Especially now that the weather is fair i beat him every day but back then i usually beat him once in two days when the weather was extremely cold so we are done baiting as you can see it's now time for us to go and dress up so this is my little man after dressing him up <laughs> guys we have an appointment we are going for doctor's appointment <laughs> so we are ready I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and see you all in our next video. Nathan, Nat Nat, say bye.
say bye. Mm. I just say bye.